I'm Emilio Pesmino, and this is the Iridescent World Tail Iguana. Today we're out here in western Ecuador, but we're not on the ranch anymore. We're a lot closer to the coast. As you can see, the Pacific Ocean is just over there. But before I go explore the beach and look for animals, I wanted to show you guys a lizard I found. These lizards are called whorl tail iguanas, but even though they also have this tiny ridge of spikes running along their back, they're not really iguanas. They're leaf lizards. This particular species is the iridescent whorl tail iguana. Now, I've encountered whorl tail iguanas before, but this one is very special because I'm going to show you. If I flip it over, Look at that. Look at these colors. On the belly you have the kind of like a faint pink hue. You go up further to the chest and has a very bright neon yellow scales down there. And then on the neck it has kind of like a black collar, which I think looks like a bow tie. Imagine that. A lizard with a bow tie. Unlike the iridescent iguana, the previous world tail that I caught had a simple white belly. This resembles a situation that happened in Florida when I found two water snakes. One had a checkered belly and the other one was plain. In both cases, the two species are very similar, but one has a much more colorful stomach than the other. And the reason why this happens is still unclear. You can see that they have pretty long toes. They remind me a lot of the basilisk, but these guys can't run on water. However, they move very fast. I've caught other species of world tail iguanas before, and usually they're pretty aggressive, but this guy's quite nice. He hasn't even tried to bite me. Look at that. Normally they'll be quite snappy and they'll be like, this guy's really chill. Just like the spiny tailed iguanas, these guys have serrated scales. So if you run your finger along this way, it's smooth. But if you go the other way, it's very rough. Look at that. On the top side, you can see that they have a pattern that is brown with a couple black markings on it. This is to camouflage perfectly among the dry leaf litter of the forest floor. This is why they're sometimes called leaf lizards. You can also see that on the side, it has a few specks of bright yellow on some of its scales. This is a gorgeous specimen. Look at all its features. The serrated scales, the long toes, the camouflage top, and the bright neon bottom. It's perfectly well adapted to live in this forest. Despite all these incredible features, not much is really known about these lizards. I'm gonna do some research and see if I can find a little more information on them. But now it's time to release them. Bueno muchachos, till next time.